Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Melba Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are an amazing Scorpio born on October 25th, this special reading is for you during this Scorpio season. Okay, so again, if you're Scorpio born on October 25th, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers born on the 25th to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number seven. And power of number nine. Okay, so nine, seven, nine. Looks like we are going to. Dum, da, da, dum. Looks like we're going to the number 25. And you are born on the 25th, Scorpio. There are no coincidences. <clears throat> Power of the numbers. Some of you Scorpios born on the 25th could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. <clears throat> you may also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could have been born in 1952, 1957, or possibly 1959 for my more mature audience. Could have been born in 1972, 1975, or possibly 1979. Some of you could have also been born in 1992, 1995, 1997, or possibly 1999, again, for some of you. So... Going to the power of number 25 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. And 25. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on October 25th, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. Power of number five. Number five came up through the number 25. Again, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. The Hierophant. Something here about commitment and or you're spiritually gifted, spiritually protected. The divine is watching over you. This can also talk about raising your frequency, your spiritual frequency in regards to your third eye and your crown chakra. Mm -hmm. And or somebody that you could be dealing with Scorpio is definitely thinking about commitment or they want to commit to you. Let's see what's going on here. And for some odd reason, I'm getting that with this Hierophant. Some of you could have had a loved one that just recently crossed over. What is the Hierophant bringing in, please, trusted ancestors? Power of number two. Number two came up through the number 25 High Priestess. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Again, as I just mentioned, open up your third eye, your crown chakra. Raise that vibrational frequency because it's also coming through here too. And it could also very well be true that somebody here is hiding a secret that they want to have commitment with you.
they're holding back that they want to have long-term commitment. There could also be two. Somebody that you could be dealing with may have a secret marriage that is going on because the high priestess is about hidden wisdom, knowledge, truth, and insight. And it's obviously up against the Hierophant. Somebody here could be hiding a marriage. We're going to see how this is all going to come out. A lot of cards just flipped out, but yeah, somebody could be holding a secret that there is a marriage going on behind the scenes, or you could be well aware that a person that you're dealing with could be in a third party situation, meaning that they are married, so they would have the M word attached onto them, okay? You could be wondering or waiting if this person in truth is going to get a divorce, okay? However, on the other flip side of the coin, again, I see it as somebody here sees the long-term commitment with you. However, if you're single and there is no specific person that you're dealing with, Spirit is saying you have all of the power within you to start manifesting for your true soulmate. You could still be trying to relinquish, you know, hurt and pain and sorrow from the past. There could still be ruminating thoughts that are going on. Remember, watch your thoughts. Our thoughts are what are creating our reality around us. And a lot of you are spiritually gifted. So you got to learn how to harness that power. Go within. This is to talk about, you know, listening to your guided meditations at night, especially if you're trying to draw in a specific person or you're just trying to draw in a soulmate. Now, on the other hand, picking up on job scenario, right now you'd be, you know, you could be trying to keep the faith and trying to use your best gut pull, your intuition right now, Scorpio, to find a better, higher paying job because the Ten of Pentacles talks about massive foundation structure stability in regards to your career and finances. So this could be about doors or windows of opportunity headed in your direction. Of course, I do believe that we create our own opportunities. However, there are things in life that will feel like serendipity where it'll just, you know, fall into our lap. Okay. So a lot of variable messages going on. Some of you could also be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. Somebody here wants marriage, but I'm definitely going to go into the hidden truth oracle because I do feel that somebody wants to say something to you, Scorpio. This person is in love with you. They've always loved you. I just heard spirit say they can't stand being away from you, but they're saying, yes, they made their choices. They held back. They were being very secretive. I wish I could share my good news with you. So this person could also be in preparation to come forward and speak their truth after they've been silent. They could have ghosted you, just poof, disappeared. Disappeared, you know, into oblivion. But they have something significant that they want to say. We'll go and clarify that. This person cannot stop thinking about you. So that tells me that this person is mentally, obsessively, compulsively thinking about you. Um, there's something in your energy or your auric force field, Scorpio, that this person somehow, someway cannot exactly let go of your energy. I wouldn't be surprised if this person is having restless nights, you know, tossing and turning a bit. So somebody has, if you've been doubting or questioning a specific person, whether or not they care about you or that they love you, they absolutely do. What is the good news that they want to share with Scorpio, please? Huh? Man, oh man, are they really being secretive? They don't want to tell me. 
They don't want to tell me what the good news is. They're holding back. The other part of it is, too, I can also see they won't let go of your energy either. They're not letting go of you. You made an impact on this person, Scorpio. But you've got some massive wish fulfillment coming in. Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, so... <clears throat> This good news may also be, too, that this person may come forward to say, hey, you know what, I'm turning over divorce papers, you know. Um, on the other hand, I also feel here, too, as far as, like, career, I'm going to go into the Kipper deck here in just a moment. Why do they love Scorpio so much, please, this specific person? Give me some emotion off of this person here. Why do they love you so much? Four of Cups. <laughs> I heard from Spirit saying it's because you put up with them. <laughs> yeah. But they know that, okay. They know that part of them, some of them are giving me half answers. Some of their higher selves are giving me half answers because I have a Four of Cups. Four of Cups can be about disappointment. This person knows that they disappointed you. They could have even said to you, like, you know, I'm, I'm not ready for long-term committed partnership, blah, blah, blah. But you have this, like, amazing chemistry between the two of you. But they might not have been really taking solid affirmative action. So, in truth, it really left you confused, questioning, wondering if... Like, am I spinning my wheels here? Am I actually, you know, do I need to move on from this? Well, no matter what, you guys, we have to keep moving forward anyway. That's the bigger challenge. The bigger challenge is listening to our higher self. While somebody is in their confusion or if they're dealing with a third party, that's their circus. That's their monkeys. So we have to really just find that courage and that faith with inside of us to keep ourselves distracted in a very healthy way, get involved with the activities, okay, to kind of, you know, get your mind off of this person. Because this person can't stop thinking about you. If you're really heavily thinking about this person, yes, it is true. They're heavily thinking about you. It's in the cards. But somebody here does not want to let somebody go. It could be the two of you mirroring one another energetically that some it's like somebody is somebody's Achilles heel do you know what I mean there like I feel like there are some scenarios with some of you guys that you kept giving into this person even though you felt some kind of resistance and in truth you should have really held back you should have trusted your intuition and held back until this person was really making some solid moves you know to really show their interest level, to date you, court you properly, etc. But somebody's got massive marriage on the brain or somebody here is manifesting for marriage or manifesting for true love to come in. Why can't this person stop thinking about Scorpio? Yeah, they're just, they're again, they're being mysterious here. Your person's being mysterious with me, Scorpio. Again, thinking, thinking, thinking. These people need to stop. These specific partners of yours need to stop freaking thinking. I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I'm waiting for everybody to come into the King of Swords where they get mental clarity. I'm tired of it. I've been seeing so much in and out patterns and cycles and behaviors with people um, in relationship dynamics. And when it starts to get that way, you just have to turn your back and walk in the other direction, Scorpio, until this person figures it out. Again, power of number nine came up on the first roll of the dice and as well as the third roll of the dice. So we have power of number nine coming in with the hermit card. So again, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September.
trusted the ancestors of my Scorpios born on October 25th. What should they do in regards to this person that they're thinking about? That there's marriage, there's commitment on the brain, wondering if this person really truly loves them and they're admitting yes, they do. What does Scorpio need to do right now while they're in this silence, possibly with their specific person? What's going on here? Yeah, you need to research or get actively involved doing something else. Get your mind distracted. Somebody here is definitely spying in on somebody. So it could definitely be on social media platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Um, or somebody here or your person is seeking out information. What is the spying activity going on here, please? Somebody spying on you from work. But they also know that they have to earn your trust back. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has to earn somebody's trust back. Somebody's spying in on you at work. Maybe some of you guys are sneaking onto social media platforms while you're on the job. But they do want to grow something here with you. Show me again while they're spying in on Scorpio. Because they can't stop thinking about you. Their head is pounding. Their head is pounding. They are so mentally conflicted. And they've got a lot of guilt, remorse, regret. Five of cups, bottom of the deck. Let me go into the Kipper deck. A gift. They want to give you something. To me, this feels like an engagement ring. Don't despair, Scorpio, but it could also very well be true. Right now, a lot of you guys could be, you know, feeling really good about yourself and, you know, making major moves in your career, etc. But when it comes to your profession, if you guys have been really frustrated, don't despair because you've got this overall energetic energy coming in your way with the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to get back on solid ground. So even if your love life is not your main focal point right now, whatever research you need to do, you also need to keep falling in love with your passion and your career. Keep doing more research. Keep putting more of the effort in, okay? Stop trying to be such a perfectionist to where um, you start to get these pounding uh, migraine headaches, etc. It's not worth it, you guys. You know, I'm full blown out entrepreneur and, you know, I've had to learn when to stop, when to take a step back, reduce my schedule because, you know, that's the thing. When you're in entrepreneurship, if that's what you're choosing to go into or you're trying to get out of the daily nine to five grind in the, in the beginning stages, yes, it can be overwhelming. You can feel almost a little bit like you have some paralysis going on, you know what I mean? And, uh, trying to figure out like which way is up, which way is down. So keep your daily activities very simple if you work for yourself. Don't take on more than you can chew, okay? So however, it almost feels like if you're going to look for another job to physically work for a company that I feel like the end of the road is coming here to where all of this patience and the frustration, everything is going to pay off because you have the Ten of Pentacles coming in. This can also talk about a raise or a promotion. Yeah, change. There's a change coming. Some of you may have to relocate for work, but there's also a change here in our relationship dynamic. Somebody could end up moving out. You could be thinking about moving to a new place, a new environment. This could talk about moving out of state. Maybe you've thought about moving overseas, etc. Okay, so right now, spirit doesn't want you to despair. You've got to get your thoughts and your emotions grounded, especially when it comes to this specific person. I feel like they want to come forward, bring you some form of truth. Um, this person sees long-term commitment with you. I feel like the divine is trying to knock on their door, basically, um, to get them to wake up, to get them to wake up, to see the truth of the situation and the connection. But in the meantime, you got to keep focusing in on you. Some of you guys are in this 
Eight of Pentacles trying to go from the eight to the ten. Okay, so all is not lost. Your hard work and efforts will pay off. And this person, how long will it be um, for this person to come forward to have them get out of permit mode, please? For some, it might take until the springtime process for some of them. We've got Aries energy coming in. For some of you guys, it might even be today. This person may reach out to you. Power of number zero represents Carpe Diem, seize the day. Um, but if you haven't heard from this person in a while, you take it very slow. Do not throw all of your eggs in one basket with this person. If you're stumped about what to say to this specific person when they just pop up, out of nowhere and it's like they need to be with you they need to see you they want to marry you and they're throwing all of this energy at you go to the channel on YouTube the art of love and you can even type it in the search bar the art of love six most important things to say when your ex returns even if this person was not your boyfriend or your girlfriend you can still use these six key phrases to get this person to be more transparent, more authentic, because again, I have two withholding energies. I have a high priestess and I have a four of pentacles. And of course, with them have been in hermit mode, but you need to prepare your energy so that your emotions do not override you and that you are not accepting breadcrumbs from this person. Because again, it's about them stepping up to the plate because see, I don't have anybody here, any specific person that you could be dealing with. They're not technically, we did see the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, but that was more in reference to people need to get mental clarity and get and like these divine masculines, divine feminines, because you could be a divine masculine waiting on a divine feminine and you're waiting for that divine feminine to get mental clarity about who it is that she wants to be with, etc. Okay. So... Nobody's technically coming in as a king, a queen, an emperor, or an empress. So that tells me somebody here is at a page level. A page level. They're just right now, they're all in their thoughts, probably trying to plot or plan. How are they trying to figure out how to communicate with Scorpio, please? They're trying to find a very loving way to do it. Lovers. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. But be cautious because I have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. This can talk about pregnancy. If pregnancy is not on your list right now, please take necessary precautions. And personally, I would not sleep with this person right away when they come back just do not take them back do not let your emotions override you right now because they've got to prove it they got to be in that eight of pentacles mode they got to prove it their words have to match up with their actions and you need to see more actions than text messaging words coming in on your phone okay so this person i think is thinking things through they do have a lot of love for you. They need to take this leap of faith. So don't despair. Dry your eyes. Dry your eyes. Because something here it will shift. It will change. To me, of course, with the Hierophant and also with the High Priestess. You have a High Priestess and a Hierophant. That's a spiritual power couple that the two of you can become. Or... If you don't find this person to have any real sense of spirituality, if they're not on that same spiritual level as you, you can sure as hell manifest for somebody who is going to be more divinely guided, somebody who is more open-minded. Um, they're more in tune. They're more tapped into their subconscious mind. You know, they know what they want. They know all about the law of attraction, law of assumption, that might be more of your speed. If this person is not 
grasping any of those concepts, they may not be the one for you. Because not only do we want to be a power couple on earth with somebody, but we also want to be a spiritual power couple. Because once you get the spirituality mastered to the best of your abilities, you can use that frequency to start shifting things in your reality with your partner. And you know when you're on the same wavelength. So there is a spiritual power couple here. But this person, because they can't stop thinking about you, and there's also this holding on to your energy, meaning, you know, not wanting to let go. I think I'm hearing uh, the group en vogue in my head right now. What's it going to be? Because I can't pretend. Something like that. Don't you want to be more than friends? Mm-hmm. So yeah, don't fall into that trap right away of physical intimacy, especially when this person really hasn't done pretty much shit for you, Scorpio. Okay. So make, make that pact with you and your trusted ancestors. If you decide to give this person another chance, another opportunity, for some of you guys, this could be the third, fourth, fifth, or sixth time around, if not more, for some of you. But there is something here about change or they're saying that I'm going to change. I'm going to change. I'm going to be that committed person that you want me to be. You can be like, hey, you know what? That, that's a great goal. That's a great goal to have. So what's your plan? How are you going to execute the plan to become more committed? If they give you wishy-washy response or answer to say, well, I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. <laughs> that's not good enough. You can't. You can't come to me with a bold statement to say that you're going to commit to me when you don't even know how you're going to go about doing it. That's just like walking out onto a battlefield with no armor on it and no ammunition. You know what I'm saying? So keep moving forward, Scorpio. You're going to be okay. Happy birthday to all of you that were that are born on October 25th. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.